Hello, my dear students. So today we will discuss social changes, mo uh, mobile and settled communities. Okay. So this is chapter seven. This is standard seven and uh, history. Okay. So this is standard seven history. Okay. So today we will discuss. All question, all your textbook question answer one by one. So let's start and come to the question answer session. So first is uh, <clears throat> a multiple choice question. This is your first multiple multiple choice question answer. So first question is one of the largest tribes of Central India during the medieval times was Das. So the Gonds. The Gonds. Option C. Gonds. <clears throat> Then question number two. In India, we call the tribal people as Das. So the Adivasis. D. Option D. The Adivasis. The Gujar tri tribes have given their name to the state of Das. Gujarat. Gujar. Okay. Gujar. Gujarat. So the Gadis. We are Gadis. We are the uh, Sephard tribe living in the Western Himalayas. Western Himalayas. So next, come to the fill in the blanks. The Gadi tribe live in the Western Himalayas. Then Khokras and Gakras belong to the Punjab region. Das we are the tribal group. Which controlled the Brahmaputra Valley, Ahoms. Ahoms were the tribal group which controlled uh, uh, controlled the Brahmaputra Valley. The Das are often called the face of Indian tribes, Gonds. Gond, the Gonds are often called the face of Indian tribes. <clears throat> the next very short answer type question. So first question is how many villages together constituted a chaurasi? So eighty four villages together constituted constituted a chaurasi. What was oral tradition? So answer is the unwritten or spoken myths and legends that continue through generations were called oral traditions. Then question number three, what do you understand by Salts and burn agriculture. Some tribes practiced the sifting cultivation. For this, they cleared a patch of land by burning the forest and uh, practiced practiced cultivation on it. This was known as slash and burn agriculture. Then question number four. So, what are the main festival of the Gonds? So, Nag Na Nag Panchmi and Pola, that is a cattle festival, are very popular festivals of Gond tribe. Dasahera is also one of the important festival celebrated with much song and dance. Then question number five: Who are nomadic tribe? The tribe who do not settled permanently in a region and move from one place to another in Source of their livelihood are nomadic tribe, Gadis, Banjaras, Bhils, Bhils, Santalas, Gujaras, Gonds, and the Ahoms are large groups of nomadic tribals. Okay, <clears throat> then come to the question number D. This is short answer type question. Where did the tribals mostly live? So answer is the tribals mostly lived near mountain ranges or in the forest. Then question number two: How have the tribes preserved their culture and traditions? The tribe tribes have preserved their culture and traditions through their social organization. Then question number three: What were the religious beliefs? of the gonds religious beliefs of the gonds are as follows first i they follow hindu customs and rituals then second point is 
दे बिलीव इन द एनिमल सेक्रीफाइस थर्ड इज दे हैव प्रीस्ट टू कंडक्ट रिलीजियस सेरीमोनीज देन द ओरशिप ऑफ परसा परसा पेन द क्लान क्लैंडिटी इज अ स्पेशल फीचर ऑफ गोन ट्राइब देन कम टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर राइट ए शॉर्ट नोट ऑन रानी दुर्गावती सो रानी दुर्गावती वॉज ए चंदेला प्रिंसेस हु मैरिड द गोंड प्रिंस दलपत शाह आफ्टर द डेथ ऑफ द ऑफ हर हजबेंड सी टूक ओवर एज द क्वीन ऑफ गोंड मंडल ऑन बिहाफ ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ हर ऑफ हर माइनर सन इन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटी फोर हर किंगडम वॉज अटैक्ट बाय मुगल फोर्सेस अंडर द कमांड ऑफ असफ खान सी गेव ए स्ट्रॉन्ग रेजिस्टेंस टू द मुगल आर्मी बट वाज डेफिएटेड सी डिड नॉट सरेंडर एंड इंस्टेड चूज द चूज टू डाई आफ्टर द डिफिएट then question number e this is a long answer type question so first is how did the ahoms established their kingdom and when so first is ahom the ahom a tribal group of eastern india controlled a large part of the uh, brahmaputra valley they established their kingdom in a large part of the present day assam in 1228 ce they were descendants of the shah san dynasty in china and a branch of tai tribe tai tribe of a present day myanmar they ruled assam for nearly 600 years then the ahoms once inhabited some parts of mongolia and northern china they spread over some areas of the uh, yunnan provinces of china and the entire hong kong valley in northern uh, burma so uh, there they formed a number of small states the most famous of which was munga mungamo gradually this state was divided into two that is mungri mungram and moulong from moulong in northern burma the ahoms under sukafa migrated to assam the next in 1215 ce sukafa left moulong moulong for assam along with his family followers and soldiers after 13 years of wandering in the hills hilly area they settled in the brahmaputra valley finally in 1253 sukhapa reached charaidio and established it as his capital the next question number 2 question number 2 so what were the occupation of the gonds occupation of the gonds can be described as follows first is agriculture is their main occupation and they mainly grow millets maize and pulses as monsoon crops and wheat cotton and oil seeds in winters second is many gonds are engaged in cattle rearing so hunting and fishing are some of their uh, other common occupations some gonds also earn by crafts uh, craftsmanship skill that is through making bamboo basket and ropes they are also engaged in the collection of forest product like honey and tendu tendu uh, tendu leaves and selling uh, it in the market then come to the question number 3 So question number 3 is describe the religion and social structure of the tribal society <coughs> So religion first is religion so tribal society basically worshiped nature they worshiped gods of nature like indra god of fire etc the bhils worshiped lord shiva the nagas believed in natural forces tribals also worshiped the other that is that is such as gods of mountains 
rivers and forest etc so second is social uh, structure the social organization of the tribal society the elder became the head of the family and the, and a group of families formed a tribe the people of the tribe also elected a tribal head and the tribal council who had to maintain the social norms the tribe the tribal society generally believe in equality so next question number 4 this is your last question <clears throat> If any problem, you can pause this video and write your answer. Okay, or any problem, you can uh, comment me on the com comment box. <clears throat> Then question number four: What were the means of livelihood of the tribals? So first uh, is most of the tribals are engaged in practicing uh, subsistence, uh, subsistence farming for their survival. Second, I so some of them also practice. shifting agriculture then third i for food requirement they also hunt wild animals so they also gather forest product such as honey and tendu leaves and sell them in the market so then five point most of the tribals trade in necessity products such as iron and salt then some tribals also earn their livelihood by selling their hand, uh, handicraft items such as bamboo basket and a rope etc so that's it the end <clears throat> so don't forget to like share subscribe thank you